so hello everyone i'm back with a, another very beautiful game which was played between rashid nezmuddinov and samsonov in 1929 here rashid is playing with black pieces and samsonov is playing with white pieces the speciality about this game is that this game shows why quality matters over quantity in chess game so let's start with it game starts with e4 e5 knight 2 c3 knight to f6 and here Samson of played pawn to f4 and here Rashid replies with d5 pawn takes on e5 knight takes on e4 and after that knight f3 and here Rashid played bishop to g4 bishop to b4 and after that queen to e2 and after bishop takes the knight pawn takes the bishop and here like with another insane calculation by Rashid he played bishop to g4 and with this move white gets a chance to give a check to the king and win a pawn in the initial game only so here he played with the he played this move only and he gave a check to the black's king and here rashid knew this move is going to come and he played pawn to c6 here samsonov took the pawn back and rashid takes the knight here let's see what happens if this pawn takes the knight suppose if pawn takes the bishop sorry pawn takes the bishop then the game is pretty much lost in this position because after queen to h4 check the king has to move on e2 or d1 suppose if the king moves to e2 then queen f2 check and now you have to go back to d1 if you go back to d3 there comes a direct checkmate so you have to go back to d1 and after that queen to f3 with a check and now rashid is winning a rook in this position let's see what happens Suppose if Queen King to e1, Rashid takes the rook, white Samson also takes the rook, and here black will simply castle in this position. Now if you see material wise, black and white both are equal, but here white has like two isolated pawns, two pawns in same file, all his pieces are on inactive squares, and a king in the middle of the board with no pieces to protect him. So this game like black will very easily win this game. So here, one thing is very clear, like this pawn cannot take the bishop. Now, here Samsonov instead played, he took the rook in this position. He thought like black can maximum to maximum, black can give a check in this position. And he can block this check with his pawn and this knight, this queen has to move back on its original square. But here he went wrong and here there is no way he can win this game now. After, knight, after queen takes the rook, here Rashid played bishop to g2 and he sacrificed his bishop also just now he sacrificed his rook and in the next move he's sacrificing his bishop also so this bishop has to be taken by this bishop if you don't take the bishop and if you move your bishop somewhere else then you lose your rook in this position and similar thing happens again you have destroyed pawn structure you have inactive pieces so this bishop has to be taken so let's see if you take the bishop then do you lose the game because here rashid will play uh, queen to h4 check and suppose if you move on e2 then there comes like f2 check you have you cannot go on d3 otherwise you face checkmate so you have to go back to d1 and here Rashid will take the bishop in this position and now suppose if you try to protect your rook somewhere else then too there is no way you can win this game because now there comes a beautiful checkmate where Rashid he'll give check to the king from f3 and the only way to protect from this check is you have to place your rook in between the check and after rook to e2 Rashid can give another check on f1 again you have to place your rook in between and now knight to f2 is a checkmate like pretty sharp calculations um, so in this position the best move for white is king to d1 but this also doesn't matter because now Rashid will give a g4 check and again you have to come on e1 and now you will simply castle now suppose if Samsonov tries like something, he has to protect this knight anyhow. Suppose he plays something like rook to g1, then Rashid can give a check. And after you come on e2, there comes another check and you have to go back to d1. And now either of the pieces is going to, you're going to lose either of the piece and you will face checkmate in this position. But now let's see if after castle, if he tries of giving away this, giving away this, bishop and he thinks he thought 
and he thinks of playing with his rook so let's see what happens here black can simply take the bishop and after you take the pawn now here oh, another very beautiful move comes which is pawn to c5 now you are blocking this diagonal so here like black doesn't have any good move white doesn't have any good move he cannot move his rook anywhere he cannot move his bishop anywhere the only good move i see over here for white is rook to b1 like he your queen is also attacking this knight and also the also the rook is attacking this knight so this has to be protected and after bishop to c after knight to c6 here like queen c4 can be queen c7 can be played but this is also losing here black can sacrifice this knight also and he can take the pawn in this position so here white has to take the knight because he doesn't have anything else so if he takes the knight then there comes knight to g3 and how do you protect this checkmate now there are no ways to protect this checkmate like suppose if you play rook to f2 then there comes queen to g1 check and after rook to f1 there comes a checkmate so yeah Rashid's calculations were like on another level he did a very great calculations over here but let's see what happens in this game after bishop after this bishop took the pawn here Rashid thought of all these calculations and Rashid Samsonov would have thought of all the similar calculations and he played like his bishop to e2 and which is like even a bad move in the it is a very bad move because now your black can check checkmate the white's king in five moves can you see that move can you see those moves like here black will simply give h4 check firstly and after this king cannot this king cannot come over here the only place for the king to move is d1 but after knight to f2 check there the king moves on e1 again and after knight to d3 check there are double check on this king so it has to move back to d to d1 but here rashid played queen to e1 so this king cannot take the queen because this knight is protecting the queen so the rook has to take the queen and after that knight to f2 checkmate force checkmate so now you can see the pieces of black in over here here black has one rook two knights and a bishop and in comparison to that white has a queen he has two rooks and two bishop pairs but still he's losing this game this is why as i said in the beginning of this game that quality matters and quantity doesn't in chess so yeah this is it from this video please like my video if you want me to make video in any other chess game then comment down the chess game below i'll definitely try to make video on that chess game also and do subscribe my channel thank you bye bye see ya take care